Thanks for staying tuned. This is one of my favorite parts of our show. Josh Lautenberg has joined us to be our epic local for this week. And Josh, thank you for being here first. Thanks. You don't know that you're on the heels of Chris Anthony. Chris Anthony was oh, last week. <laughs> you know, oh, well, so, so you're just right. feeling well, right. This has been great. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. You know, the, pro the thing about that is people are going to confuse us except for his hair. Because when I'm skiing on the mountain, everyone calls up, comes up to me and says, hey, Chris. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because they see the red sideburns. And, and they think it's you. And they see you yeah. rip. So, so now, they're like, well, thank you. That's nice. They, but, yeah, yeah, we say, never know you. who's <laughs> like. People will be confused now. That's all. So Epic Logo, we've been here a long time. Yeah. We, you and I sit here and talk real estate all the time, normally. Right. Let's touch on that briefly. Sure. Been in it for 20 years. Long time. Yeah, yeah. 20 years. Uh, got into ownership of a real estate company, a firm back in uh, 2009, Southern Alp Real Estate. And then uh, last couple of years have uh, been one of the partners for Anglin, Volkers, and Vale Village in Beaver Creek. So it's been a lot of fun. I love it. It's a great yeah. career. Now that's the work life. Right. Let's take it on the mountain because that's how you got here. Tell us that's how, how I got how here. You know, just why? What you know, uh, uh, like a lot of people, I mean, my car didn't break down in <laughs> on I-70 and then suddenly I lived here for 25 years. I've heard that story before. But basically, right. um, I decided when I was 13, I came out here and visited my sister and she was a ski instructor at the time in 1982. And she said, do you want to come skiing with a bunch of friends? We'll all have the day off. And this guy was from War Orrin Miller and, and this woman was a pro bump skier and this one was like, you know, a back flipper and whatever. And these are such great skiers. I said, sure, let's go up. And at the end of that day, I thought, I'm going to move here after That's college. It. Told my parents I was moving here. They thought, dumb kid, you don't know what you're talking about. 13. 13, you don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. It. Sure you are. And I counted down the days and moved out here in 91 and then was full-time instructor. Met my wife here, both of us ski instructors in 92. Okay. And uh, was a trainer for the ski school, was on the demonstration team here, did powder eights for a number of years uh, with my partner, Fred Rumford, who's the director of the Vail Ski School now. And we traveled around and we competed and nice. we had a ball. We had a ball in general. So that's by day. Yes. By night, you spun into something else. And did yes. it start that long ago? It, it started, well, I've been playing drums for a very long time. I played in high school bands. I played in college bands. And I played in a band here for a little while, a little bluegrass band. And about two, three years ago, this band, Rewind, approached me and said, we need a drummer to fill in for our other drummer who happens to be out of town for this certain gig. And I was very good friends with, oh, has always, I've always been great friends with Joel Dekanik, who's a bass player in right. the band. And uh, so I kind of jumped in, helped out. And they said, why don't you make it a permanent thing? And so for the last, I'd say almost three years, we've been playing together, okay. play all over the valley. And uh, yeah, it's, we have an amazing time. We all really wish that that was the career. Uh, we love what we do, but this, this is the most fun thing. If we could tour around the world, uh, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, we would do it. For sure. <laughs> would you guys would you guys explore it? Would you explore venues in Denver, Boulder? Would we, you do that? We are starting to market ourselves there. Actually, we're waiting to hear about a gig in Aspen, uh, okay. potentially for a big corporate gig. Um, people are hearing about us in Denver, in Boulder, in Summit County, and other areas. So I think if we really did sort of put effort into it, we would certainly, uh, yeah, that's us. Uh, playing over at yeah, Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's, I'm just going after it. Uh, you <laughs> can see in that photo my, why my band afterwards said, you're too loud, which is what I hear all the time. Um, that's all right. That's, that's, it's, it's, it's rock and roll. We were playing Bon Jovi at that point. Well, you're going to jam. We're going to jam. Gonna so nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, yeah, certainly we're putting some effort into playing elsewhere just so people don't get tired of us here. But we, we just uh, played Pink Vale last spring. We played the Vale Mountain School Gala in November. Just played an incredible New Year's Eve party a few weeks ago. So... We have a ball, and we just love being with each other, six of us, and we all have different careers and professions, so right. it's fun. And then you bring it together and bring the band together. So let's exactly. talk about not being behind the drums. Let's talk about a little dance moves. You, oh boy. you brought out some dance oh moves. Oh, boy. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes they say drummers are good dancers, too, because we have rhythm, but we also can co coordinate different parts of the body, the right, left, hands, and feet. And uh, so I was, uh, for some reason, asked to be a dancer in the Star Dancing Gala last uh, July, uh, that's my partner Maria, who's just amazing, has danced with hundreds of, of people at this event. And so you can see about 750 people sitting there watching you. Didn't think I was going to be nervous until you walk out and hear people going, Josh, come on, buddy. <laughs> or my friend goes, Josh, you suck. Like this, just they sort Perfect. of relax me a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, so then we, we, uh, we danced for, you know, about four minutes, had a great time. I learned a lot, raised a lot of money. That was one of the, the probably the most successful, I think, evenings that uh, the foundation has had for the Youth Foundation. So. Uh, yeah, and I told them I would do it again. I don't know why, but I said, you know, if you're looking for someone, you know, whatever, you for next year, it. I'll do it again. So That's I loved good. it. Well, and you've been here, you've been here a long time, 91, 92. Yes. You know, kind of moved in and did it. You've, you've seen some unbelievable ski seasons, 94, 95, oh, yeah. oh, 96, yeah. uh, 97, 98 was unreal. Right. Unreal. 
you know, it's one of those times where a, a year like this, people uh -huh. are all down and gloom. There's some unreal skiing. Unreal Still, skiing. Today. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, everyone was complaining. I, my daughter will tell you, she's a big ski racer, so I like to say there's no such thing as bad snow. It's always good. If you're scl sliding on a board or skis or whatever else and you're doing it, you're, 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 you're having a good time, That's, you have to be happy with it. And yes, it got a little tricky with some of the rocks and stumps and things. But yeah, I skied a couple of days ago with my wife and uh, the bumps on Milts yonder, those places, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Just the best snow I've skied in a long time, not just this season. And it, it always ends up being really great here. No yep. matter what we do and whatever we have, we, we maintain the snow really well. The terrain is so incredible, it's unlike anywhere else. So yeah, and I still, you know, it's funny, I still love it. After 40 something years of skiing and after thousands of days on this mountain over the last 25 years, there's not a day that I'm not excited to nice. go out and ski. So good. I guess that's good. Well, we appreciate you being here, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate Long it. time local. Thank Josh you. Lautenberg, you know him probably from the real estate world. You know him from being on camera with us here at TV8. However, do you know him as a drummer? Do you know him as a skier? Do you know him as a dancer? Do you know him as a powder eight guy? An epic local. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale.